Before those pumpkins hit the trail here at Iroquois Park, they start here in the pumpkin barn for this year's event. Um, so we're, this is where all the carving and the action happens. Brooke Pardue with the Parks Alliance of Louisville. Talk to me about this year's theme. This year's theme is changing the channel, a timeline of television history. So even here behind me, you can see we've got the Jeffersons, I Dream of Jeannie, The Adams Family, Good Times, uh, Where's the Beef, you know, <laughs> the, the old commercial even. So looking back on the history of television from the golden age to uh, to streaming on Netflix. It really is cool that this, it's the same event, but it's very different every yes. year. This year, it's back to being walked through. How do you feel about that? We're so excited. It's, uh, we were glad to have the event last year and be able to pull off a drive through, but it, it's not the same as it is as a walk through. It's such an immersive experience. It's so much more fun to be in the woods than inside your car when you're kind of grounded in reality when you're still sitting in your car and you can totally escape when you're in the woods. It really is magical in large part due to the artists, the local ones that are working on these pumpkins. But listen, just because, you know, the event has now started doesn't mean their work is done. Oh, heavens no. So we are putting produce in the woods, right? So these pumpkins that you see here that are going on the trail today, depending upon the weather, can last from, you know, three, five, seven days maybe. Um, and then they will be rotated out. So we'll probably go through four rounds of these intricate pumpkins over the course of the event. So we've got wow. the artists working here the whole month of October. All right, we're talking about more than 5,000 pumpkins that are gonna be hanging out in the woods of Iroquois Park through Halloween night, that's when the event ends. And all tickets, uh, proceeds actually benefit the uh, Parks Alliance of Louisville. Alex Durham, WLKY News.